Good evening, India. Welcome to our Glory Gold TV. Here is the breaking news, yes. When Sir Rick Fogan had his first encounter with the Goliath frog, he was impressed by its mighty proportions. Growing to the size of a cat, it is the world's largest living frog. Almost like holding, like a human baby. He says, having handled one in a rescue mission. The Cameroon conservation artist was so captivated to, and he said, of a project to fight for the future of the endangered species. When I found this species was unique, the biggest one in the world, I said, this is something that we cannot easily find elsewhere, and I was proud of it, he says. People in the area say they are blessed to have something like that. They attach to it a cultural value. For decades, the Goliath frog has been overhunted for food and the pet trade in Cameroon and equatorial Guana. It is habited beside rivers and streams is first being destroyed and the frog is now classified as endangered on the official extinction red list. The frog is little known to science and even in Cameroon many local people are unaware of its value to the ecosystem such as preying on the insects that damage crops. The conservation team works to pursue hunters to become citizen scientists recording sightings of the frog rather than using it for food. They are also working with local people and local groups to help set up snail farming to provide an alternative food source. The conservation work is starting to pay off with the Goliath frog returning to new rivers in the Mount Nelanko Reserve. A call from a former poacher to report a frog had been captured by a neighbor was a turning point. Sadiq was able to rescue the frog and return it to the world. Beautiful. I believe. We can have it forever and we can continue to be proud of it, he says. The project to save the Goliath frog is supported by the Conservation Leadership Program run by Fauna and Flora International, Bird Life International and the Wildlife Conservation Society. Behind the Glory Glory TV, India.